Right, so we've created our first measure. And what I'm going to do is just we'll tidy up here because we only really want the ones with measures um, doing the calculating, right? And as I just said, like what will happen is that you will have a lot of measures that are created pretty quickly once you know what you're doing um, with, with DAX and, and specifically with measures. And so what we want to do is we want to just try and organize this area a little bit better because you'll just have them just everywhere and very difficult to find. You want to just make it really simple and easy to go and locate these things once you've created them. And so what we're going to do for that is <clears throat> we're going to create what I call a measure, it's, it's called a, I call, well I call it a measure group, it could be a measure table, um, whatever. Now what we need to do to be able to do that is just, it's just a few steps, okay, a few steps that we need to um, run through to be able to create that. The first thing is we need to basically create a dummy table, we need to create a table with nothing in it. We can do that by going into data up here in the home room, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this first group my key measures, okay, you can call it Whatever you like, but I would say look for a generic name like key measures, core measures, measures, something like that. And then I'm going to just load that in. Okay, and you'll see that I didn't put anything in that table, right? I basically just created a blank table. And you'll see that this key measures table now appears in the fields section. Okay, see here, key measures. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this particular measure into that dummy table. Okay. And so for me to do that, I can um, come up into measure tools here. And so I've got quantity sold, um, and then I'm going to go home table. And I'm going to put it in the key measures table. Okay. And you'll see now that that measure's moved up to this particular group. And then to finish off, I'm just going to delete this column because there's nothing in it. And I'm, I'm not worried about it. Um, so I'm just going to delete it. And so now I only have the measure inside of there. And then the very last thing I'm going to do, up in this fields pane, if I go sh um, hide and then show the fields pane again, you'll see that my measure group now has a new icon <coughs> and it's sitting up the top. Okay, so all my measures are really easy to find because they're always up the top. <coughs> and then as we create more of these measures, we're going to put them into more, you know, we're not going to have just one group for every single measure, we're also going to classify specific measures in specific groups, depending on what they are analyzing, like time comparison, or moving averages, or cumulative totals, or something like that. This, this is a sort of a methodology that I use that I think just helps you so much around organization and continuity of how you develop your reports you know within teams and within organizations you want to sort of have this sort of standard practice so that you know you you have a lot more scalability in what you're doing with your with your models etc in your reports but now i have this quantity sold inside um my key measures group and we can start creating a lot uh, a lot more measures and just sort of landing them in this in this initially and a lot more sort of core measures you know I've referenced that a few times like a few times like really simple measures and we can put them in this initial key measures folder and then we can then branch out into all these other things one thing to note is that what happens with these measure groups is that they do actually appear first of all inside of the um, relationships area the modeling area and so what I generally do is I put these out to the side. I keep them away from my model here because they really are just there to um, run the calculations. They're, they're, they're going to have measures which basically run the calculations and our, and our sort of core model here is going to do all the filtering to actually get the um, get the, the, the specific results that we're looking for in a, in a, you know, in a specific piece of analysis. And so, um, so they first of all land there, but what they also do is they also are created inside the query editor. And this is another reason why, so you might want to go click back in here, another reason why you need to organize this because you'll have a lot of these measured groups. And so what I do is I like to move this to a group, new group, and I'm going to call this measure groups. Okay. And so now I'm going to place all of my sort of measure groups in that particular um, in that particular folder now. I'm just going to go close and apply. It will just make those small updates to the sort of back end. Um, nothing will really change in, in here because it wasn't sort of a change to a table or anything like that. 
Um, and now we're, we're really set up to scale things from here. We can really um, start building out our analysis and obviously our report as well, our visualizations. You know, this is the really solid base that, that, that you want to create. And then, you know, it's really let your imagination run wild in terms of, you know, what analysis you, you um, can start doing. Okay, so quick and easy that one. What we're going to do now is we're going to just start jumping in and creating some other measures. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker so that you can just get exposure to, you know, as many of these sort of initial things that I would do no matter what sort of data scenario that you are dealing with.